adding return ducts is done exactly the same way we add supply ducts. We start with our VAV, then we work back to our diffusers. To get through this video, we're going to accomplish multiple tasks. First, we're going to add our return diffusers, then our main ducts. Then we're going to branch out to them just like we did in the last video. So let's jump into Revit. Let's zoom into this area right here. What I'd like to do is add some return diffusers. So let's go to our systems tab. Let's go to air terminal. And we'll just choose one that's here. Let's scroll up till we find return diffuser, 24 by 24 face and 12 by 12 connection. So that of course would be 610 millimeters by 305 millimeters. Same problem, we need to set our elevation. So let's go ahead and set our elevation to eight feet. That would be 2438 millimeters. Now we can add this somewhere, like I'm gonna hover over this grid line, hit my space bar, we can drop it on in. Again, I'm just gonna pick a spot here. I'm going to type AL for align, select this grid, then our diffuser, select this grid, then our diffuser. Hit escape a few times, select your return. Let's scroll down and uncheck these arrows, perfect. Gonna have to add a few more. So I'm gonna select this, right click, create similar. Now notice that I can kind of come up here and align it to these two diffusers. It's kind of neat, right? Put it there. Then maybe I'll put one right here and align it to those two. Excellent, I think we've got enough. Let's draw some return ductwork. So select your VAV. Notice that we have our symbol for return. So I'm gonna come out to about here. Problem is that's at the same height as this. That's okay, let's jump over it. For my middle elevation, we have tons of room. So let's go 14 feet, which would be 42, 67 millimeters. I'm gonna come down to about here. And notice that we're looking up, so we have a hidden line. We can come over to about here. I can do the same thing. I can come in at a 45 degree angle, but this time I'm just gonna come out to like, now I'll come past it to here. Hit escape a couple times. Now here's a trick, select this duct. Let's click connect into, select your return. That's gonna put it right in there, pretty cool, huh? Let's do the same for the others. Select, connect, select, Select, connect, select. Hit escape a few times. Pretty sweet. Let's go to a 3D view. There we go. The cool thing is maybe we don't need 14 feet. So if you select this piece of duct, maybe we only want it at 13 feet, which would be 3962 millimeters. 13 feet, hit enter. It's gonna drop the whole system, right? So you can over exaggerate as you're modeling it and then kind of drop it down, right? That's even too high for me. I want it to be 12, 36, 58. Ooh, that's close. To check it out, let's go back down to our level one. Let's double click on our section and open that up. Pretty cool, huh? So it kind of comes up, over, down. Let's go back to level one. Save it. There you go. That's how you add return grills and return ducts.